Welcome to our new and improved customer support management system. With this new feature, you will find it much easier and more practical to stay in touch with all of your customers, handle all of their messages all in one place. Whether you have one store or, or multiple stores, you will not need to log in to each store and reply to your customers through there since you can see everything now through one screen. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So on the left side on the AutoDS platform, we're going to click on customer support. And as you can see here, I have all of the messages that I have, all of them combined from all of my stores, all in one window. I have all of the buyer's names right here, the status of the message, the message type, for example, system conversation, which comes from eBay, post sell conversation, which is a message that a customer sends you after buying a product from you and so forth. The time is how long ago you got this message, at what time, how long ago, and of course, what store it belongs to. Now here, you can also add filters. So for example, let's see all of the messages that have a certain status. The status right here, if it's a new message, if it's red, if it's old, you can also filter the message type. So whether, whether I wanna see system conversations, postal conversations, and so forth. Red, so whether I read the message or not, starred so if i gave it a star here then i'll of course be able to see only my starred messages the ones that i saved like in my favorites you can also filter by the buyer's first name the buyer's last name which user you assigned it to which means you can take any one of these messages or some messages and assign them to a certain virtual assistant to take care of them so if you have one virtual assistant or or if you have some virtual assistants you can assign different messages to different vir virtual assistants to take care of and that will simplify that for you and also automate it. You can also filter using the buyer's username, the receive date, so when you got it, the product's sell ID, the product's buy ID, the product's title, the sell site order ID, and the buy site order ID. So with these filters, you really have no limits and you can easily analyze and see whatever messages you want to see. So that's really quick regarding the filters. Now let's go inside one of the messages and see what actions we can take. So I'm going to click on this message right here. And as you see, it opened the little chat window. And this is the chat window between me and the buyer. So I'm seeing it in a much more user-friendly window right here. And as you can see, he asked me, hello, what type of stainless steel is the product made of? Just wanna know if it's three or four stainless steel, 410 stainless steel, etc. Thanks, TK. And then I answered him, hi, they are stainless steel 400 series. Of course, after checking out the product. So as you guys can see right here, I've got the buy item ID. All I need to do is click on it. It'll take me straight to the supplier's website. I can grab the information from there. Then I can come back and reply to the buyer, which is exactly what I did here. And as you can see, I can continue replying right here, just like a regular chat window. And of course, as soon as I send the message over here, the buyer will get it on eBay. So in this example, I'll write another message just to show you guys how it works. Let me know if you need any further assistance. Then I'll click on send and that message was sent. So that's how simple it is. An additional thing that you can do is add a note. Now this is an internal note that only you will be able to read, but it's definitely a great thing to have. So I'm going to click on note, then I'll leave an internal note. Buyer asked about the stainless steel type. All right, for example, click on send, and here it is up here. I also wrote thanks, but these are internal notes. The buyer is not going to see these notes. He's only going to see what we're writing over here. All right, on a regular reply right here. So when it's yellow, you can tell it's a note. And that's another thing that you should definitely take advantage of to be able to organize your information in a much, much better way. And of course, I can click on the refresh button over here to see if I've got any new messages if I do not want to wait for the hourly scan. So if you're not going to click on refresh, you're still going to get your buyer's new messages on the hourly scans. But if you're expecting something that you should be receiving right now, just go ahead and click on refresh and you'll get all of your new messages. So that is how simple it is to go through our customer support management system and take care of each and every one of our customers. I do not need to stress how important it is to give the right customer service to our buyers make them know that we are a real serious business and this way we will sustain a long-term survivability with our online stores another important feature that we have in the customer support management system is the ability to create snippets now snippets are pre-made text templates that you have created in advance that allows you to simply send messages in just one click to your buyers let me show you what i mean so on that same message i'm going to click on these three lines right here this opened up the snippets window as you see, I can choose a ready-made snippet. For example, a snippet that I made for when an item goes out of stock. But in this example, I'll show you guys how to create a new snippet. So this is how it's done. We're going to click here on add new. 
then we're going to give the snippet a name. So let's create a message for, let's say, orders that are delayed in the shipment process. So the, sh the snippet's name is going to be late shipping. All right, then we'll have the body. So this is the text that the customer is going to read. Here we can also add all kinds of triggers to make the message look more personalized or more professional. For example, if I click on buyer's first name, it's going to add that trigger. So the buyer's first name will show up right here in this field. So here I'm going to write, hi, buyer's first name, comma, I regret to inform you that, let's see what else we have. So we can't add a tracking number yet since we don't have one, the shipping is being delayed. We don't have a shipping carrier yet. We do have a product title and we do also have the sell order ID. So let's write, I regret to inform you that order ID regarding the product's title. You don't have to make it this fancy, but just to show you that you can if you want it. So, hi Jack, I regret to inform you that the sell order ID regarding the slippers or whatever that you bought, that you purchased is going through a minor delay in the shipping process. I am doing everything in my power to have it shipped to you ASAP and will continue to update you on the progress. Buyers always want to be in the loop. They always want to know what's going on and this is one way to do it. Thank you for your patience and understanding. This way you'll get less cases on ebay on where my item is didn't get my item and so forth all right so we have a nice message here that i just created for every time i have a late shipping and i want to send my buyer a message that his shipping that the product is going to arrive a little bit late so we're also going to give the snippet also a small short code so every time you type in that short code or that hashtag it's going to automatically load up that message so in this case we'll call it late shipping now i'm going to click on add and the late shipping snippet was created. So now when I click on these three lines, you will see that I also have the late shipping here. If I click on the three dots, I can continue editing the snippet or I can delete it or I can click to use it. And that is it. The message just got preloaded right here. And that is how simple it is to also use snippets, which is very good for saving your time on recurring messages or recurring answers that you are sending to your buyers. So once again, take care of your customers, utilize our customer support management system. It'll make your life much, much easier and much more automated to save you the most amount of time. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the dropshipping world with new features coming out all of the time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the future videos.